Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I created this look using Camille Rose products. So if you're interested in learning how I created this look, definitely keep watching. So starting with freshly washed hair, I am going to section my hair to make this process a lot easier. I work better in sections. So I'm starting off with Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Step 1. There are two other steps in this collection, but in today's video I'm only using Step 1. This is the first time I've used a honey in my hair. It has drops of honey in it and olive oil, and it is just the perfect blend for the hair. It does moisturize and hydrate the hair really, really well. And with this, I actually take my hair and I separate my hair, I twist my hair to, you know, to really separate it really good. I detangle the hair with my good brush that I got from Kiridu. And um, this honey is just everything. I just felt like when I used it, that it just done so much for my hair. It really helped me detangle my hair. It's perfect. It's perfect for my hair. Once I blow dry my hair with it in my hair, I was amazed of how soft my hair felt. I said, okay, my hair actually feels really, really good. So what I'm doing here is I'm detangling my hair with the Q-Redo brush after applying the honey, the hydrating honey leave-in to my hair. I usually detangle a little with my fingers and then I take the brush and I take my time and I go from ends all the way up to the top and just really detangle the hair really well. Some of you have mentioned to me that you have concerns about tangling and detangling and how to detangle the hair and what works best for me. Um, I've been natural for about four years now and what I can tell you is detangling is so, so important in this journey. If you're not using the right tools, your hair could actually come out. You can lose more hair than you gain. So I highly, highly recommend the Q-Redo brush or any other type of tool that you have that is similar that detangles really well, it will save your hair. Have you ever heard about Curl Aid? This is the first time I use Curl Aid. Um, I love Camille Rose products. So of all the products that I've used, her products are always hydrating and it just feels so good in the hair and it always smells so good. This product is called Curl Aid. It's made with jojoba oil and green tea oil. And what I do is I take a little bit of it and I run it down my hair and then I apply a good bit to my ends because it's really important to focus on the ends of the hair when your hair is natural to keep it from breaking. So what I loved about this cream is that this moisturizer, it really emulsifies in the hair really well. So with this moisturizer, there's no residue left behind and my hair felt so good. I already knew my bantu knots were going to come out nice. So right now I'm showing you guys how I create a bantu knot. And I wanted to slow the video down some so you really could see how I create this knot. Um, it's a really pretty curl. So after applying the product to the hair, you want to take your hair and twist it at the root. And then twist it all the way down. And you literally flip the hair around. But at the same time, you have to hold the knot in place so it doesn't come undone. So it's kind of hard to see. But I slowed the video down so you could really see. I go around it and then I twist it twice and then I go around it and I twist it twice and depending on how long the hair is I still twist it three times and go around the knot but it's important to really secure that knot in place so that it stays fastened and then I twist it at the very end as you can see to really hold it in place I don't use any bobby pins And just in case you're wondering why I blow dry my hair first, um, because it, I noticed that when I blow dry my hair, my hair has a better hold. If I did this look on my hair in its wet state, it will probably take two days and a half for my hair to dry because I don't have that kind of time. I blow dry my hair first and then I go under the dryer for about an hour. 
on high heat or either an hour and a half on cool. So now I'm just going to separate the curls and that is the look. To maintain this look at night, you do want to bantu your knots, uh, re-bantu knot your hair again. Um, you don't have to do such small sections, but just depending on how thick your hair is, you know, depending on how you want your curl, tighter, looser, how small your sections need to be. And then just wear a bonnet over and it'll be ready again in the morning. And if you love this look and you like this video and you find it very informative, definitely subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a post. Like and comment as it means so much and share with your friends as I'm growing my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you soon.